Sam in Kilgore, Texas writes, I've been reading a forum where they were discussing the PS Audio S300 power amplifier. The discussion got around to fully balanced amps and I was hoping someone would describe what they meant by fully balanced. I finally decided none of them knew what the hell they were talking about. <laughs> I understand how a differential input to a summing amp works, but if the signals don't sum to zero, how do they get rid of noise? Some people were saying the signal had to stay as opposite polarity signals all the way through the amp to, the, to be fully balanced. Please explain the term fully balanced. It has so many meanings that it's difficult to, to say. Uh, where do we start? The S300 is not fully balanced in one sense and it is fully balanced in another. So let's start with the simplest part, okay? What is a balanced output amplifier? Some amplifiers, most amplifiers, are unbalanced. The black speaker terminal on your power amplifier is ground and the red and the hot terminal is where the signal goes up and down you tie your speaker between the black and the red terminal. The minus of your speaker sits still and the red goes up and down with the current. Your speakers move in and out. Life's good. A balanced amplifier has the same black and red output terminals on the speaker, but they are moving in balanced fashion. This is not ground. This is why you see on a number of amplifiers, the S300 included, do not tie that to ground because you're just shorting the output out. So the output is balanced. The output, as this black one goes up, the red one goes down. And that gets summed in the loudspeaker. You understand a summing amplifier. Well, think about a coil, which is what speakers are, right? They're a coil of wire. And when you put a balanced signal into a coil of wire, anything in common, noise, hum, whatever, doesn't energize the coil, right? If you just, if you put two voltages, identical voltages into each end of the coil, nothing happens. No current passes. It's only when there's a difference in voltage that a current is generated a magnetic field is produced and the coil does its thing. When the voltages are identical going into this coil, you got nothing, right? So that's why something in common like noise that was common on the minus and the plus, that gets eliminated. So there's your balanced output. A fully balanced preamplifier, for example, which doesn't have a power amplifier output has a balanced output, but not everyone is true full balanced. And this is where a lot of this gets so confusing. And I, I apologize for that because, you know, marketing guys get a hold of a little bit of technical information and they say, well, ours is balanced. So for years, designers had to have, because customers wonder, I want a balanced output. I don't know why I want a balanced output, but I want a balanced output on my preamp. Well, the preamp might have had a balanced input, which is good, but everything inside of it is single-ended. Now, how do you get a balanced output? Well, you just take an op amp and you invert it, and it puts out the opposite, and you have this coming out, and now we have a balanced output. That's only good for the balanced cables connecting the preamp to the balanced input on a power amp, and it is good. But you went through an extra stage. The preamp itself is not balanced, only on its input and its output. Inside, it's not balanced. Now, whew, come to a fully balanced piece in, in its true form. That is a full complementary balanced design to where there's a signal going, you know, balanced in and out 
throughout the entire piece, which is what we do on the PMG Signature Series. Our signature preamplifier is true balance from input to output, and that's rare. Most units aren't, but I've probably babbled long enough. I hope that gives you a little bit of a clue of what's going on. And the problem is you can't tell from the marketing peeps what's going on. So thanks for having a listen. I hope that helps.